So today, anyways, what I'm going to show you is this last layer. Let me mix it up. Good. So here's the situation. You have the first two layers solved, and you have yellow, yellow uh, solved. So you just need to, you're on OLL. It's called the orientation of the last layer. So you have to just fix each side of the yellow. And what do you do? Well, the first step that you're going to need to do, congratulations for getting this far, by the way, you're almost done. This part is going to be easy. So you look for, if, if it's facing you, you look for two colors that will, are matching. This is red and orange. Those aren't matching. This is blue and green. Those aren't, match and those aren't matching. So you have to start with this algorithm. So you can look over my shoulder and then follow me, okay? So take the yellow, face it away from you, like that. All right, so white will be facing you. So now you take the right side and you turn that twice, all right? Turn the right side twice, then the bottom twice. Doesn't matter which way you go, twice will be the same result. Then the right once, that way, which is clockwise. And the top once, which is clockwise, and then the right side back, and then the bottom twice. All right, you'll have this white here, three whites like that. But then when you turn it twice, you'll have four whites. So you're on the right track if you have four whites here. Now you turn the right side up this way, and you see these whites on the bottom coming, coming up. Keep your left thumb here on those four whites. Take your left finger, and flick the top layer counterclockwise, and you'll have a two by uh, three block right here so six whites and you see those whites there and then you're gonna fix them all right let's do that again actually let me show you what you're gonna do now because you're gonna do the same algorithm and then you're gonna uh, be set for the one more algorithm that you're gonna have to learn I'm gonna kinda lie into you I'll show you what I mean in a bit all right so now you look for two colors that are matching see you have two colors that are matching now when they're facing you. Yellow's on top, and you got two colors here, red and red. It's any random color. Those aren't matching, those aren't matching, not matching. So you got two red here. Now you take those two red, look over my shoulder. So two reds, you put them on your right side. Remember that part. These two need to go on your right side. And then you take the yellow, you face it away from you, or you can think of it as the white facing you. Now you take the right side you can do that same algorithm I just showed you R2 D2 hey R2 D2 I wanted the R2 D2 beanie right now isn't that a coincidence that's a coincidence do you believe in coincidence neither do I isn't that a coincidence all right oh, I'm messing with the cube shouldn't have messed it with you but messed it so but anyways you have you you'll eventually get to this situation all right you have those two solved and you look around and they're all matching so then after that you're ready for the next algorithm which I'll have to teach you in the next video here you look for the two colors that are facing you that are matching none of those are matching not matching not matching so in this case, you do just do the algorithm anywhere. You take yellow, you face it away from you, and you go R2, D2, R, U, R prime, D2, and then R, U prime, and then R. If I go too slow, I'll mess myself up. So sorry if I was going too fast there. Okay, I'll do it again though. So the next step is you look you do the same thing. You look for the corner pieces that are matching. Two oranges. Where are you gonna put that? Left side or right side? Look over my shoulder. Hold the cube like this, okay? Put that on your right side. The two that are matching on the right side, you take yellow and you face it away from you. All the whites will be facing you at this point. R2, D2, R, U, R prime, and then you take the D2, and then you'll have four whites there, R, U prime, and then R. 
Okay, hopefully that wasn't too fast. If you learn how to read the notation, maybe that will help you out a little bit, okay? And then you'll get to this point. So now when you're at this point, see this? You're at this point, all the all the corners matching, corners matching, corners matching, and corners matching. What do you do here? Well, this one happens to be the funnest one. Let me do it, okay? Let me do it in this video. All right. This is the one where this edge piece needs to go all the way to the other side, and this edge piece on this side needs to switch. And these two edge pieces need to switch. For example, this blue needs to go all the way to this side, and then this, and then this yellow green needs to go all the way to this side. So these two switch, and these two switch. And this is the funnest one. I'll show you why. It's just a pattern that you're going to have to do. All right, look over my shoulder and memorize this, this algorithm. Red right here, okay? You take the middle and you take your fingers like this and you're going to flick the middle. Well, look at what I'm doing first, okay? That's what I'm gonna do. So basically, I'm flipping the middle twice, all right? Like a wheel. You can do it this way with your fingers just roll in like that or you can take a fat layer turn it twice and then take the right side and turn it twice and then you'll have the same result whatever way you want to do it okay but first keep an eye on this piece right here and this piece those two are going to go to the bottom so now they're down here now you take the top and you turn it once so the white is a minus sign now and then you turn these two pieces back up there and now you turn the top twice so now they're up here these two pieces that you're switching Turn the top twice, okay? Now they're arranged correctly. Now you're gonna turn that middle twice, like that. It doesn't matter which way you do it, just turn the middle twice. You don't have a white minus sign. Then you turn the top once, and you see how it's gonna fix. All right, we have to do that again. All right, here. Look over my shoulder. Okay, green. And blue need to switch and these two need to switch so middle twice turn it once that way so you have a minus sign middle twice again now turn the top twice and then the middle twice now you have it this way the minus sign fix that then you should be done all right again i'm going to set it up so if you remember it this way here, red and orange are opposites. That goes to the other side. These two need to switch. So now look at this. The middle twice. The top only once. The middle twice. Now this time the top goes twice. So on the second time the top goes twice. And then the middle always goes twice each time. And then you're fixed. All right. Again. That those are opposites. That, that needs to go here. That needs to go here. These two need to switch and these two need to switch. Here it is. Middle twice. Middle once. Top twice. I mean, not top twice. Middle twice. Okay? And now the top twice. And then the middle twice. You don't have that formation. Middle, I mean, the top once. And then there you go. There it is. Okay? All right. I could be done in the next video. In the next video, you should be able to solve both situations and you're gonna be done with the Rubik's Cube. You'll have all the al algorithms that you need. So if you're up to this point, be patient. Give that one day of practice and you'll be done. You'll be done soon, all right? So today you learned the these two, how these two switch and how you get these corners solved. All right, hope you enjoyed it. See you in the next video.